Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 2 Strange Town. Alrighty, so we are back with the Grunt family today. And um, I don't really have any plans. <laughs> I think in the last part when we did our introductions, which, you know, pretty much took up the whole time, one of the things suggested was to find Tank a job, which we did that. And Tank um, is still a teenager who becomes an adult in five days, but he is still in school. But he does have a... Uh, I'm about to say political because I was CMP. I don't even know. Anyways, he does have a career, I guess, part-time. It's 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Yeah, so as a paintball attendant. So he's definitely getting a little jump start in the military career. And who is this? Oh, it's the computer guy giving us a nice little computer. Uh, thank you, Mr. Humble. But um, you, you could just, yeah, thank you. And I also gave them a little bit of a makeover at Tank and um, General Buzz because I'm not a fan of the face paint. But, I mean, look at these two just bonding as usual. They're the only two that like each other. But, actually, I do believe Rip and Buck are pretty close. Yeah, so, I mean, he's written to his little brother in these two. I mean, yeah, well, okay. Well, you know what? I think what I want to do is because I love the freaking military career so much in the sims 2 i don't know why we don't have it in the sims 4 it just kind of upsets me that we don't have as many jobs as we did in the past but you know what that's a whole nother rant for a whole nother day that i don't feel like getting into right now so anyways whole point of what i was trying to say is i love the military career and i love this little course right here and since you know tank and General Buzz are so close, and Tank wants to be just like his dad. I do believe that General Buzz is kind of hard on him and is always offering him lessons, always teaching him everything there is to know so he can excel in the military career as well. So, a little bit about Rip here because we have a decision to make. So, if you've been keeping up with this series, when I introduced the Smith family... Um, we know that Johnny Smith is dating Ophelia Nygmus, which is Buck's friend. Not Buck. Oh, my gosh. Rips. Yes, it's his friend. And they both came to Johnny's birthday party. And um, they started, like, flirting with each other, which was very awkward <laughs> because Johnny was there. And I don't remember if it was before he aged up or after he aged up, but... I was freaking out. I was like, how could she do that to him? But thankfully, I had some of you inform me that, okay, he aged up. So that's why she has a relationship, a better relationship or a romantic relationship with Rip. Because when I went into Ophelia's household, um, I, I did, I seen that where she was really, you know, just best friends with Johnny, but she actually had a crush on Rip. And that does make sense because your teenagers and young adults can't have relationships in The Sims 2. So, huh, I, I have a lot of people saying, no, 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 <laughs> Ophelia and Johnny definitely need to get married. They need to stay together. And I do like them together, but, um, I don't know until she ages up, which I do believe she is older than Rip. So I do believe she's going to age up shortly, but I, I do think that she would kind of be a little bit confused. I mean, she's a teenager just because she's a little bit confused with her feelings. Um, I, I do think that she would kind of explore a possibility with rip just to kind of see if i mean you know you know what i'm saying um so i may have him sneak out with her that's something that he does want to do he wants to sneak out with her so i'm going to pause that and save that and actually he has work at 3 p.m and so does tank so they're about to be leaving shortly to go to work um we don't have a vehicle and I feel like we, we would have a vehicle. So I always forget, well, in the Pleasant View series, it took me a hot minute to remember that we had cars. Um, so I am going to add a car. I'm going to make the driveway a little bit longer here since it kind of comes out to the back door right here. Yeah. So I'm going to give them a family car just so they have another way of getting around, even though the carpool comes in handy and does pick them up. Um, they don't have a whole lot of money. 
Um, I mean, they can't really all fit in that. I definitely don't see General Buds driving around a minivan. So I think, even though it's kind of costy, I think we're going to get this here. So we better be making some promotions. The kids better be on the grind or else we might not be able to afford our bills or anything. Because that took a big chunk of our freaking time. But um, Rip's like, cool a car. I'm going to go check that out. But... Yeah, anyways, everybody's freaking out over the car, but... Alright, Buck, I'm gonna have you come use the restroom. And let's see how these two are doing out here. Okay, so I do believe he's earning... Oh, he is killing it. He is killing it. Uh, I do believe he is gaining um, some muscle from that. Some ath ath athletic s skill. Athletic... What am I trying to say? Athletic skill? Who is this? Who is this little chihuahua walking around? Tucker? Oh, that's so cute. I kind of want one. I don't think I've... Oh, I do... I'm about to say, I don't think I have any pets in any of my Sims 2 games. Or, you know, families that I've played. But I did actually have... Um, I had Cassandra Dreamer actually adopt a cat. <laughs> And uh, it's annoying. It's really annoying. <laughs> uh, I do like the pets in The Sims 4 a lot better, even though we don't have horses or small pets, you know, like we used to. I just like how you don't really have to control them. Okay, he's about to freaking have a bladder failure, uh, but he's about to go to work, so maybe he'll use... Yeah, I think he might take care of his needs when he goes to work, but he is a gas station attendant, so he's in the slacker career, so... Yeah, we're going to let him go and do that. And then, yes, Tank is leaving as well. And General Buzz is... Okay, whoa, 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 hold up. I'm going to make sure you're serving enough for the rest of the family. Because sometimes they come in here and they'll fix like one meal. And that's just like, it's kind of a little selfish. Oh, and uh, go figure. He has absolutely no skill, right? When it Where's the skills when it comes to cooking? No. Does anybody have any cooking skill? No. So I imagine this family eats a lot of freaking lunch meat sandwiches and pizza and takeout. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have him come and call delivery and we're going to get some takeout just because I feel like that would probably satisfy their hunger a little bit more than sandwiches would. But what is he doing? He's coming to stuff his face. Um, let's get some... Let's get some Chinese food, just because it's something I kind of miss having in The Sims 4. Um, take out Chinese food, so. Yeah, it'll cost $30. Ooh, I mean, we don't have that much money, but I think we can handle it. I'm going to have him come in here and watch TV, kind of to distract him from coming in here and uh, eating a lot. And I think Buck is going to take him a little snack. And I imagine that General Buzz is like, Buck. He probably onto him about his weight a little bit because he is so athletic. And he's like, Buck, I just ordered a Chinese. I mean, you really need to put the chips up, son. <laughs> and I just, I feel so bad for Buck when it comes to his relationship with his dad because he really wants a relationship with him. But look, it looks like General Buzz is wanting to oh, see him crossing his arms. He's like, put the chips down. Uh, but he's wanting to, oh, okay, well, he was wanting to swing him around and kind of play with him. So, that's good. Dance together. Okay, we'll do that. Because I, I just kind of work on want to work on their relationship. See, he's so rude. He's so mean. Why is he so hateful? And I mentioned it when I did the introductions. And I still... Oh, okay. I see. He's going to tell him not to eat the chip and then come over here and stuff his face with him instead. Hmm. Okay, classic. <laughs> but anyways, um, I, I mentioned it, like I said, when I was doing the introductions. I definitely think what General Buzz needs is a little love in his life. Um, I didn't do my research like I said I was when it comes to his wife because his wife did die. We know that she was murdered pretty much by um, Olive Spector. But before she was murdered, he actually broke up with her. And I don't know why. So if any of you know that scoop and that story, let me know. But looks like Tank has a little notification here while at work. It says Tank loves to watch the many varied groups compete at the paintball arena. Most people don't know how paint... Oh, wait. Don't know how a painful... Wait. I don't even... I can't read. Okay, let me try that again. Most people <laughs> don't know how painful a paintball can really be. Yet one day, an old enemy comes in with a group of her friends and treats Tank quite rudely while attempting to rent equipment. He's tempted to give this group the defective paintball guns, but that's risky. Maybe he should just turn on his video monitoring so that he can catch them in the act if they cause trouble. Oh, 
Okay, um, let's do video surveillance because I feel like he would okay, it says it's risky to give them the defective merchandise. So that's risky. And I feel like he would not want to disappoint his dad. He didn't he just got the job. His dad helped him. He does not want to get fired or, you know, have a bad name. So I think he's just gonna turn on video surveillance. Hopefully that works. Tank silently hands the group their equipment and waits for them to enter the arena. Once they're gone, he goes into the back room and watches the action carefully on the closed circuit monitors. Things are pretty uneventful, that is, until Tank notices a small contingent break away from the main group and break into a hidden maintenance shed. The group tries to make it off with hundreds of dollars of ammo and equipment, but Tank notifies security and catches them red-handed. Tank's boss gives him a $150 bonus, or simoleon bonus, for stopping the theft in its track. So that was the right decision. He got some money, and I'm sure whoever it is that owns that paintball shop that General was, I'm sure knows very well, they're going to be calling him, texting him, and bragging on Tank, which is going to make his daddy really proud. So we made a really good choice there and it looks like bucks like oh the food's here <laughs> um but yeah anyways back to what i was saying about general buzz needing some love in his life i want to have him find somebody so maybe um i just i don't know we could call the matchmaker and kind of see if she can set us up with somebody but i know in order to do that you have to pay a lot of money to get like a good option for a wife and I don't want him to settle, and I don't think he would settle, but we don't really have the money right now. Maybe if we wouldn't have purchased the car, but you know what we did? Oh, well, we've already done it. Um, so I, I don't think that we would do the matchmaker thing quite yet, but possibly, you know, I'm going to keep my eyes out for some neighbors passing by. There is a singles household that I did move in. They're a lot younger than him, but... Well, I mean, probably not that much younger than him. Maybe one of them would be interested. I don't know. He isn't really a fan of aliens, and I t know two of them are aliens, and the other two live with aliens, so maybe he would not like that. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I definitely think that General Buzz just needs a little loving in his life. I mean, don't you guys agree? So Rip and Tank have both returned from work, and... um what oh he is stanky so i'm gonna have him come over here does he oh i mean i don't need to like keep making all these purchases but i guess we'll come upstairs and have tank take a shower I'm about to say he's looking like having a little breakout but maybe not and i think tonight i do want to have <laughs> um i want to have rip try to sneak out with ophelia I don't think I've had a Sim do that in my Sims 2 series yet, sneak out, because I really like that too. I miss, there's just like little details that I miss so much. And I'm so sick of General Buzz being a freaking dickhead to Buck. That is so rude. He is just trying to bond with you, dude. I don't know why you gotta be so rude. So rude. <sighs> but anyways, so pretty sure that what we're gonna do, where's the phone in here? Do we have a phone? Oh, yeah, it's in the kitchen. Okay, perfect. So, let's come in here, and we're going to call Ophelia since it is just now getting dark. Pretty sure they don't sneak out until, like, midnight or 1 o'clock in the morning. So, let's find out. Okay, maybe we can't do it right this second. Maybe it's too early. So, um, it might be too early. So, I'm going to have him come and sleep a little bit. That way, he's not super tired. And he will be able to go to school and everything tomorrow. So, I don't, why is our door still open? That's a good question. Can we close this? It must be a glitch. Okay, hold up. Mm, okay, so, um, we can't. We can't because it's in use. Um, so that's annoying. Uh, there's lots of glitches going on in my game, I've noticed recently. But, anyways, once Tank... Wait, no, I'm getting them so confused. They look just alike. Okay, so Tank is... Um, checking himself out. Okay, I hear ya. We're gonna have him use the restroom. And I want him to have a relationship too, but I don't think I'm really gonna pursue that until he becomes a young adult since he does age up in four days. I'm not really interested in really pursuing it all that much with him, but anyways, I'm gonna have him come up here and punch on the punching bag a little bit before he goes to bed. I mean, we just took a shower. It's probably gonna bring our hygiene down a little bit, but... 
I mean, yeah, okay, maybe we shouldn't do that. Okay, I didn't think about it, <laughs> but that's not very smart. So, um, anyways, what I'm going to have him do now probably is just come in here and sleep. <laughs> and for a general buzz, um, I think, yeah, he is done, but he's still a little bit hungry. So, I'm going to have him grab another box just because I don't want him to be freaking starving when he wakes up in the morning and... As far as little buck goes, I think that has satisfied his hunger, but he's actually sleepy, so I'm going to have him come and go to bed as well. All right, so I had Rip get up because it is a little bit later, so um, we did have the option to sneak out. So Ophelia said she's going to pick us up at 1 a.m., so we're just kind of like, hey, Dad, what's up? You know, he doesn't give a crap. He does his own thing. Like, his brother's in here snoozing, but now nah, if you do, I'm coming to play on the computer. <laughs> Um, but actually, he probably needs to take a shower and kind of like gussy up a little bit because he does like Ophelia. And even though she kind of has a relationship, um, technically not really because Johnny is a young adult at the moment. So they don't have a romantic relationship. So, I mean, she has a possibility, like I said, to explore this with Rip and kind of see how she feels about it. And unfortunately, I just, I think Rip's going to end up getting hurt in the long run, but he'll have to learn the hard way. But I, I do like him and I do want the boys to find love. I want them to have a successful life. I don't want them to be anything like their dad. And that sounds kind of harsh, but He's just kind of a grumpy person. He's rude. I'm just kind of concerned with why he broke up with his wife, Lila, before she was murdered. Like I said, if any of you know of any, like, theories about that whole thing, let me know. Some of you are, like, Sims 2 experts, and I love it. So help me out if you know, if you know anything. I mean, my guess would probably be that he was just a little bit too hard on the boys. Maybe... You know, they didn't have a very close relationship because he was so, so dedicated to, you know, his career and everything. So, I mean, that is definitely a possibility. But, oh, so Rip is a romance sim and it looks like, why is he going to, to play? You can play with a refrigerator? What? <laughs> he is a romance sim and he's not doing very well with his, um with his his aspiration he's kind of struggling a little bit but we're about to achieve something we're going to sneak out with Ophelia and that should probably help us out a little bit but anyways what is he doing <laughs> okay you look like a you look like a crazy person son you need to calm down now okay you're freaking me out stop okay come use the restroom and I mean it's she should be here any second now so I mean we're not going to get to go with them but I definitely low-key <laughs> really want to have Buzz catch him. So, I mean, we'll see. I don't remember what time it is that they usually get back when they sneak out. Okay, so it looks like Ophelia is here. Look at her little car. It's so cute. Oh, okay, I love it. That is, that is seriously so cute. <laughs> but he's sneaking. He's tiptoeing out. I'm not really sure where they're going to head off to, but, I mean... He's bad to the bone. He doesn't care. See, that did help his aspiration a little bit. So, let's see. He wants to go to college, meet someone new, buy a bar, and he wants to flirt. So, anyways, the time is going to speed on through since he has left and everybody else is asleep. So, we'll just kind of see, you know, what time he ends up coming home and if he's going to get called by General Buzz Grunt. All right, so it looks like Tank is up, and they do have school today, and um, I think what I'm going to have him do is come in here and kind of clean up the kitchen, because um, even though his dad helped make the mess, um, I think his dad would definitely want the boys to be the one cleaning up after themselves, and him, you know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, Buck's up, too. I'm going to have him come and take a bath and get ready for school, because it is Monday. Um, I really do, I mean... Uh, I mean, okay, realistically, you would think that a house full of men wouldn't do a lot of cooking because, I mean, some men like to cook, but, like, the general, you know, consensus, the statistic tells us that um, men don't cook very often. It's kind of like what the, what the moms do, and they, they don't have one. So I can see them eating a lot of takeout and not having good meals, but, you know, it's really a struggle when it comes to their um when it comes to what am i trying to say when it comes to their needs you know trying to keep them tip top in shape and their needs met and everything it's kind of like a pain in the butt 
Um, but you know what, whatever. So <laughs> I'm probably gonna have, I don't know. I mean, I don't know who would be the cook of the family. I don't really see any of them being the cooks of the family, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, but I guess what we can do, does he have work today? Yeah, he has work at 10 a.m. So, um, I don't think, there's not no, there's no online dating, is there? No, there's no online dating like in The Sims 3, but it would be really cool if there was because I really, really want to find him somebody. But, okay, he is at the top of his career, so he does make pretty good money, so... I think once we go to work and kind of get a little bit of pay, a little bit of cash coming in, we'll have a little bit more to spare when it comes to the matchmaker and paying her to find us, you know, a good partner to, you know, choose from. But, oh my goodness, okay, Rip, you really got to get up because it's time to go to school. So you snuck in, you snuck out, snuck back in without getting caught. So don't blow it <laughs> by missing school and he also wants to have his very first kiss so ooh, um we might invite ophelia over after school and kind of accomplish that because like i said i'm just i'm just having fun okay i really do think i agree with most of you that she's probably going to end up staying with johnny just because um but right now they don't have a relationship because he's a young adult so we're gonna take advantage of that and we're gonna have a little bit of fun with her and rip and okay you're gonna miss school if you do not hurry up i don't know why it takes you so long to eat a little freaking box of chinese food but yet it does um also i could i could possibly see him hiring like a maid or something maybe having like in a little affair with a maid um let's let's just see how much it would cost to have a maid and who our maid would be because like i said i don't see him being um really well is he neat no, he, you know, he's not really neat nor sloppy. He's just kind of like eh, there in the middle. But, yeah, I don't really see him cleaning up after himself or like a house full of men. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, um. Okay, go to, go ahead and go to work because that's, wow. Um, I didn't know he got picked up in a freaking helicopter. How cool is that? I'm, who is this? Who is this chick? I like her. You should date her. Who is she? We're gonna meet our co-workers. I think we can, yeah, we can do that. We're gonna meet our co-workers. He doesn't know anybody, hardly. Yeah, so I think we have that option in The Sims 2, right? When they go to work. That is so cool. I forget about helicopters in The Sims 2. All right, so Rip has a day off today. Tank has a day off today. And Rip's grades are improving. Cool. All right, so Tank is home and he doesn't have school today. So um, his grades, yeah, he's an A-plus student, so he's killing it. So, I'm going to have him come, and, of course, he wants to ask for homework help, do homework. He wants to throw a sports party, but we're going to use the restroom and, um, I guess, eat some more. I mean, it's so annoying. I, I say this every time. In every part of The Sims 2 series of Pleasant View and Strange Town, I complain about their needs and how high-maintenance The Sims are in The Sims 2. It's kind of annoying, but, you know what, whatever. All right, so... Um, Rip, I'm going to have you come up here and take a shower. And then we're going to invite over Ophelia. And I want him to have his first kiss with her. I kind of just want him to kind of like smooth her, smooth her up and butter her up and flirt with her because he really does like her. And I think he would definitely pull out all the stops and be super, um, I mean not super, but kind of desperate when it comes to like vying for her attention. Because he does know that Johnny is kind of in the picture and it's kind of like sucky of him because him and johnny have they're not friends but they have a pretty good relationship you know so that kind of is rude but all is fair in love and war isn't that how the quote goes all right i'm gonna have him come in here and we're gonna call over um ophelia and ask her to come hang out with us what time does general buzz get home he gets home at 4 p.m., so he'll be here in about an hour. Um, I don't know if he will allow them to have company over. I honestly see him just being a butthole and being like, can't have girls over, like, especially when I'm not here. What's wrong with you? Can my friend come over too? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's have somebody else witness it. <laughs> oh, Buck brought a friend home from school today. So, does he know any kids his own age? I forget. Did we go over this? Yeah, he knows Jill Smith. 
Oh, it's like his grades. <laughs> yeah, he made an A plus, so he is like heck yes. Um, and his new little friend here, who is Gallagher Newson. Okay, cool. All right, so anyways, we're going to have him. How is his How is his needs doing? Oh, he needs to have some fun. So, I mean, what can we do? Who is her friend that she? Oh God. <laughs> Okay, um, well, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think this kind of answers my question as far as, like, Ophelia and who her heart truly lies with. She is still bringing Johnny along, and, oh my gosh, that girl, he is over here dancing, like, yeah, I'm gonna get my first kiss. Oh yeah, Ophelia's mine. Little do you know, little do you know who is standing outside your door right now. Oh, okay. So, maybe we should pretend like she doesn't see him. So, I'm going to have Tank. How about you come and uh, greet everyone and kind of, you know, invite her in. And Tank, what are you doing? Where are you going to ask? What are you going to ask him? No, like, you need to come over here and um, we need to, like, play video games or or do something. Um, watch TV or something because we got to get our, our fun up so we can do our homework. Um... What are you, what are you doing? What what is what's going on? Buzz has returned from work with one thousand one hundred and thirty eight. Okay, cool. So yeah, he makes some pretty good freaking money. So he is he's killing it. He's killing it. Uh, but he has to use the restroom and he oh, oh oh no. It's dirty, everything's dirty. Oh, why are you so sad? I think he's just really bored. Okay, where is where is he at? He's still up here dancing, and he's up here like, dude, like laughing at him, like, dude, you're so stupid. Like, honestly, you are retarded because, um, she she, she brought Johnny. <laughs> she brought Johnny. She really does. Oh, she did. Oh no, I hope she's not leaving. Is she leaving? Ophelia, I swear to goodness. Oh my God, she's leaving. Oh my god, it would be just like Tank to freaking ruin, ruin it. Yeah, yeah, he probably, when I said greet, he probably sent her home and came up here taunting Rip because he knew Rip was excited about it. And I think he's just probably rubbing it in his face now, like, I mean, honestly, you're, she had Johnny with her. And of course, I don't think, I don't think Rip would believe him. Just because he snuck out with her, and she's obviously been showing that she's interested in him. So, I definitely think that they're going to probably get into a little scuffle right here. I really wish Rip wouldn't run away and freaking, like, cry. But, I mean, he is, and he's just like, you know what, screw it, you know. And now he's laughing at him. He's like, you're a fool. I mean, look at you. <laughs> I just don't get their relationship. It's kind of toxic. It's kind of bad. But anyways, we're going to come clean up. And everybody's hungry. But, you know, we, we don't have... Oh, okay, you're eating rotten Chinese food. If you want to upset stomach, that's fine. Um, that's on you, buddy. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. Their skills. This is killing me. They're, they're not their skills. Their needs. Um, okay, so I guess what I'll do is have him serve some, like, mac and cheese. Watch him, watch him freaking set the freaking place on fire just because that would be his luck today. But anyways, um, I'm getting close to wrapping this part up here. Actually, let's have Buzz maybe come and hang out with his friend a little bit. Can't we, like, play, um, cops and robbers or something? That's fun. Maybe that'll get his needs or yeah, his fun up a little bit more. Uh, is to play, which is a really cool little, little, cool little detail that I miss. Uh, Tank will become an adult in a few days for better opportunities in the future and the chance to have some fun as a young adult. He can go to college. Um, Rip has an opportunity to enter college before moving into college. Rip can use a computer or a phone to apply for scholarships. Um, only two days left before Buck's birthday with an aspiration meter as full as Buck's. There is no need to worry. Okay, so I did mention, so real quick, let me go ahead and reiterate this. I did mention that for Strange Town, all of our teenagers, I'm not sending them to college uh, just because I did that in Pleasant View, and it's kind of hard to, to do. <laughs> um, 
so we're, we're not doing that <laughs> we're just kind of going to have them start from the bottom of their career and just work their way up and start with them as young adults and their families and all of that so hopefully you guys don't mind it's just it's kind of hard to focus on that many sims in college and he he has burnt the mac and cheese it looks more like freaking chili or beans or something like yuck but you know oh that is getting oh what is he doing okay well playing with the fishes watching the fishes is getting spun up more than the freaking computer was that is backwards that's weird but anyways guys i'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here um so yeah i think it was pretty eventful um well we have a lot to accomplish in the grunt family so let me tell you i want to find general buzz a woman i think he needs some love in his life you know and he needs he needs it he really does it, it might help him not be such a butthole as far as tank you know he's just he's just a bully he's trying to be like his dad i don't want him to be like his dad but maybe he'll have to learn the hard way i don't know poor rip <laughs> didn't have the day <laughs> that he thought he was gonna have he didn't get his first kiss still holding out luck there though that eventually he will get that first kiss and his brother kind of like ruined it but at the same time maybe it was for the best because she did bring johnny which would have caused some problems and as far as little buck he's about to age up so we have a lot of possibilities and where we want to take him and his future in this little series but anyways you guys i'm wrapping this part up here so if you like this part be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave all your comment suggestions and everything like that in the comments down below. Subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.